so just tell me just tell me briefly about your project. What what is it? So our project is tackling one of the big problems that we have in Madagascar, and that's deforestation. Ninety nine percent of the country right now gets its uh, uh, cooking energy, its cooking fuel from firewood, basically. So our project is delivering four thousand highly efficient fuel stoves called Fantana Mitsitsi. It's the Malagasy name called, of them. Called what? And we're Fantana Mitsitsi. Fantana Mitsitsi. <laughs> yeah, like you get used word. to it. It takes a while to get your tongue around it, but you get used to it. So what does it look like? It looks it looks kind of like a little small oil barrel. Is that right? Very very basic uh, kind of construct, but the key to it is the construction, which is it's lined inside with um, some kind of like a concrete mixture or something that helps to contain the heat. The Fantana Mitsitsi, you're using less wood and that wood burns longer and at a higher intensity. And then other types of stoves that people will have is just kind of built-in brick stoves in their, in their home, like very basic brick structures with a grill on the top and then the stove, uh, the, the, the fuel wood underneath. And so you're, you're leaking smoke and heat all over the place. When you have something that's open like that, it's got to be bad for their eyes, it's got to be bad for their lungs. It's very unhealthy. It leads to a lot of problems with um, uh, things like emphysema and um, uh, bronchitis, and particularly for young children, because mothers will often cook with their children kind of wrapped around them. So it's not just the mother that's inhaling all that smoke, it's the babies as well. And that can lead to problems like pneumonia, which is a very significant problem and also one of the the leading indicators of, of child mortality kind of across the globe. I could see you walk into town, they've used the same thing for centuries, and you walk in and go, here, here's this stove, and they're like, I'm not using that thing. How hard is it to change yeah. their mind? Yeah, what's this of device, right? Yeah, how hard is it to change <laughs> their mind? How much work is it? Well, I think that once they, they see the stoves in action, mm -hmm. And then they also hear the people around them who are using these stoves, and they see that they're, you know, the piles, the bags of, uh, the piles, the bags of charcoal are smaller, and they're not using nearly as much. And, and look, they're they're eating better. They've got better. They've got better food on their plates. Like, where is this coming from? I think that that kind of story gets around. Um, so I think that that's how we that's how we help to make that change. Truly, are we got hit very very hard by Hurricane Haruna, and the whole city was flooded. We took all the funds that we'd had dedicated to our Earth Hour activities and we devoted them towards purchasing these pentanimous entities and distributing them to people in the South. We were able to distribute 3,000 of them. And we've heard incredible stories coming out of that. We had um, uh, Marie Louise, who's a mother of five children down there, was, was kind of devastated by this impact. And a big issue for people was in the wake of the hurricane, the charcoal prices tripled. She's described uh, the pentanimous city for herself. As, as, as a miracle solution because they, not only in that moment it helped her to um, be able to provide for her family and get by, but also afterwards it's allowed her now to reduce her budget significantly. When you think of Madagascar, a lot of people think of the movie Madagascar and kids. How much will kids yeah. benefit from yeah. your project? Tuliar, the, the city where we're doing this, uh, Madagascar has got an incredibly young population and Tuliar in particular. Over 53% of the population in Tuliar is under the age of 18. So we're benefiting these children um, by uh, making their environment healthier, but also being able to save their families money that they can put into school supplies, that they can put into to buying fruits and vegetables. More money means better health. How serious is the deforestation in, in Madagascar? Well, there's satellite imagery that shows over the last 50 years or so, uh, there's been a 40% drop in the overall forest cover in Madagascar, and that's, that's massive. Um, and right now there's less than 10% of the original pine forest uh, still intact in the country. Uh, it's known as the Red Island because the soil is, is a bright red color. It, it's very vivid, it's very dynamic, it's beautiful. But also when you, when you look at it from above, particularly after heavy rainstorms, you can see it looks like the island is bleeding. It's leaking red out into the ocean, into the waterways, because the soil is just being stripped off because of this deforestation. We can distribute 4,000 stoves. That's going to save 700 hectares from deforestation. All right. Is there anything else you want to tell people about your project? We're aiming for 4,000. We think that's uh, an amount that's reasonable, and we hope people can support. But if, if we can exceed that, the benefits will just continue to multiply. Okay. So use your power. Donate now. <laughs>